I'll wear the royal trousers, Meghan. The Duchess of Sussex wants to wear a tux, just like Princess Diana, on their tour down under. But Harry gives the thumbs down. It has been said the Duchess of Sussex prefers to wear the trousers in her marriage but she may not be wearing them for her forthcoming tour of Australia. The Mail on Sunday understands that Prince Harry, perhaps sailing towards dangerous marital waters, has expressed his views over his wife's latest test of royal convention. After she ordered a range of designer suits, and even a tuxedo, to wear during their October trip. Although Meghan's penchant for cigarette trousers and stylish flares has won her fashion plaudits since she began official duties. The style is said to be barely tolerated by royal aides, who want her to stick to the traditional demure skirts and opaque tights. And Harry, who has been sitting in on some of Meghan's meetings at Kensington Palace with special projects teams from various designers, is said to have given the thumbs down to a masculine Stella McCartney tuxedo suit his wife picked out for a glitzy evening event during the tour. This newspaper has been told that Meghan has been expressing frustration with some of the monarchy's archaic traditions. It is the latest sign that Meghan, for all the duties and conventions of her new life as a royal, is determined to remain her own woman, and it is enough to have sparked a debate among courtiers over her penchant for wearing trousers on royal occasions. Though the tuxedo look is undeniably sharp and stylish, and would flatter Meghan's yoga-honed figure, we understand that even Harry agrees it would be a bridge too far to wear a trouser suit to an important Commonwealth occasion. The final say, of course, ultimately comes from the Queen, who is said to be uneasy at the sight of women wearing any trousers other than jodhpurs. It might also, perhaps, be a reminder of fashion rebellions by Harry's late mother, Princess Diana. A source from one of the fashion teams that has visited Kensington Palace in recent weeks said, Meghan is being told she needs to stop dressing like a Hollywood star and start dressing like a royal. Meghan wanted to wear a tuxedo-style suit but Harry said it wasn't traditional enough. The Mail on Sunday understands it is not the first time there has been friction over the Duchess's fashion choices. Ahead of one recent public occasion, Meghan was informed by the Queen's dresser, Angela Kelly, that Her Majesty would be wearing a hat, and that she was expected to do the same. The Duchess, however, left her hair uncovered. She certainly showed an individual sense of style at her first public engagement alone with the Duchess of Cambridge when she wore eye-catching flares at the Wimbledon women's final earlier this month. Commentators noted that Meghan's decision to wear 1,300 pounds flares and a crisp 445 pounds striped shirt, both by Ralph Lauren, teamed with a straw fedora hat was probably a deliberate nod to her friends at the American Fashion House an official supplier for the tennis championship. Though she may owe them a favor, Ralph Lauren hosted Meghan in its VIP hospitality area at the All England Club in 2016 and its star PR, Violet von Westenholtz, is said to have helped set her up with Harry, some suggested such favoritism from a royal was inappropriate. In stark contrast at this year's Wimbledon, the ever-obedient Duchess of Cambridge wore a demure knee-length Jenny Packham dress teamed with her favorite nude pumps, a look that would surely have been met with approval by courtiers. At one time Kate, now a veteran royal, was asked to lengthen her skirts and dresses and line them with lead weights after the Queen decreed she was showing too much leg. Meghan has made obvious concessions with the former actress giving up her figure-hugging skirts. Such changes will surely only help boost her efforts to fit in with the royals and take the international stage as a humanitarian. But that is where the compromises end. Friends say Prince Charles has nicknamed his new daughter-in-law Tungsten after becoming faintly amused by her unbending ways. The only surprise is that it is the normally rebellious Harry who is testing her mettle.